about Jesus and his best friends, his, his people. Um, it's the worst, it's the life. The wanting to cling to the flesh that betrays him, them. That why they betray him. Why they don't follow through. She wanted to. <laughs> there is this song, Cruel World, Cruel War, by Peter Palmer. The cruel war is waging, Johnny Mama's fight. John is, John, the spirit of John is the spirit of Jesus. So, oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny. Yeah, I love you more than words here express. I love you far better than all of mankind. Um, I feel you unkind. She wanted, will you let me go with you? No, my love, no. And then it's in the song, yes, my love, yes. Um, I can't, I see. Um, the two of them, yeah. Mary wanted to go with Jesus. She wanted to go with him. Um, Peter did too. He did too. Um, Judas didn't want Jesus to die. Judas could see Jesus was going to die and did not want Jesus to die. He loved Jesus more than he loved his own life. He went and took his own life because Jesus wouldn't save his own life. Jesus was going to let them crucify him and, and Judas couldn't bear it. So he went and took his own life because uh, he attempted, yeah, they, it's, yeah, um, wow, it's deep, it's sad, but beautiful, it's because of all the other people, how horrible they are, the Herods and the Caiaphas's and the, and the cronies, and, yeah, and Pilate tried, but he's like, man, this shit is fucked up, and, you know, you have one of the greatest kings in the history of the world, and he has a, he has a great, uh, court following, Judas is extraordinary. Mary's amazing. Um, John, the Baptist, was, yeah, shit. You guys are just like in Rome. They take these beautiful people and they kill them in order to support bureaucracy and irrationality. They'd share and they would take care of and they would help provide for you and make sure that you all have. Uh, Jesus is trying to reestablish what Solomon did, what David did. You read these histories and the way they deal with the people. I mean, people coming from you. Yeah. Rome goes out and conquers and then makes the world Rome. This is, is this real? People actually came up and without threat of harm and invasion asked David and Solomon to be their king. Wow. That's special. All my love of God is all I have and my dreams are very special. And today my dreams come true. I want to see that restored. If the similitude of David doesn't see it, maybe the similitude of Solomon and Muhammad will. I don't know. I resolve myself to that fact. I've already told it from the future. I, like, man, if I had to do this, I would try, but what good will it do? How Do they always require this blood sacrifice and offering? Should they always fish till my flesh? As long as they require it, as long as you anger them. As long as you show them their, your, their selves and point it out to them and they hate you and they want to shut you up and they want to kill you and put you down, then yeah, it will be required. Do I stop? What do you think? I oh, don't know. Right. The babies are too important. The plan is too important. Real faith is too important. Real science and real religion correlating is too important to me. I can't let the babies just go down like that. I can't go down like a bitch like that. I can't be by and soul like that. I don't want to be put through no more shit. I don't want to worry about these little pussies trying to lock me up, make my life more miserable than in this bed. I don't want to get hooked up with a girl again that's going to treat me like shit and fuck everybody in town. I don't want to lose my babies anymore. I want to see Emmy and Katie again. I want to see Noah again. I want to see Crummy. I want to talk to my daddy and have her say some nicer things to me. And I do love you. I love you too, Beanies. That's just a dream world. That's just a place, happy little place I go in my, that's the whole Clay Holmes, right? And all the wonders that I find in the playground in my mind where the children laugh and the children play and they sing a song all day. My name is Natty. I'm not real bratty. My mom and daddy love me and Ralphie does too. I'll call him dad just to make him feel a little bit better. <laughs> Even though our relationship was fucked up. If other people just went in and fucked it up. Me and Natty tried to have a relationship. It was hard with all the shit that these other people put up with and put through. And I ain't judging them. 
I can't judge nobody no more. I sit down and look at it. I ripped y'all a new asshole. You needed it. But the world has been fucked up, and it's done been fucked up, and people react. And I've been put in mental and emotional positions to evaluate and analyze and observe and understand what they were going through. And uh, I have nothing but compassion for them. I love Barbara and Peter. I hate the things that they have to put through. I love Poncha. <laughs> Me and uh, John were talking about her, and he's like, yeah, she, gosh, she's been such a snot. My whole life drives me nuts. Always hanging out with the popular people. Put me down because I hang out with the people that are not popular. Pop, yeah, it's all chicken little and shit. Popular versus unpopular. Shouldn't we go over the hit the pig? <laughs> okay, kids, hit the pig. I'm like, man, try to... Man, run. Move, move. Okay, bro. <laughs> yeah. I was, I, mean, I still am chicken little and shit like that. I guess I'll have to wear my paper pants tomorrow. <laughs> One little slip was a fusion of confusion and a few outstanding things. <laughs> I like the bare naked ladies. <laughs> and yeah, it's one week since you looked at me. <laughs> so I say I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm one of the bare naked ladies now. <laughs> Can I put on my paper pants now? <laughs> I piss everybody off. Everybody hates me, man. I'm so fucking me. I am. I don't know how to use a... It's like, man, they ain't, they ain't, they're still destroying the world. I get that way. I'm walking and I'm like... Mm -hmm. And so there's still... There's the cars, the bars, the wars, the money bought whores, the papers, the magazines, the TV shows, the bullshit, the Fox News, the this and that, the CNN, the C-SPAN, the fuck man, the just man, the tax man, the fuck you man, the blow it up, the drone roamed a bit, the, the surveillance, the cameras, the TVs, the this and that, the fuck me, sell me, buy me, borrow me, battle me, bruise me, abuse me, and lose me. Then after it all collapsing, we will all be asking what the hell just happened. <laughs> Pay paradise. Put up a parking lot. Oh, don't it seem to go? You don't know what you got till it's gone. You pay paradise. Put up a parking lot. Just have a big yellow taxi. How about a big limo? I got a big Cadillac Escalade limo. Drove my old lady away. Uh huh. Oh, don't it seem to know? Go. You don't know what you got till it's gone. Yay. Sorry. Take them. Go. I ain't got nothing anyway. I ain't got no kids. I got enough money just to try to roll it to the next phase, to the next place, to the next way. Find the next way to pay my extortion and have everybody call me crazy. Ralph, shut up. I'm shutting up. I'll shut up. Shut up. Shutting up, Ralph. When people say shut up, I shut up. I'm just going to have to. I don't know. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Everybody always knows better than you, Ralph. Yeah, it seems to roll like that. Do you understand? Damn, Jesus, I'm sorry. You don't understand. Yeah. Damn. So lonely. Mom said it was going to be I'm giving you a special gift, but you're going to be very lonely. I don't like being lonely, Mom. So I went around. I do, and I talk to beautiful people. And they're determined to want to live it and try to live it, but they're in no position to do anything about it. Because all the people in positions of powers know so damn much. They're so fucking smart. And they're always telling us, Ralph, what you don't get, what do I not get? If we do that, it'll collapse, and the market will collapse. Did you read the book? <laughs> yeah, all the people, oh, God, the markets are falling. Oh, my God, it's going to be world destruction. Oh, let's go jump off the building at the end. Oh, okay, let's have Billy Zane's character jump out the window because we have the stock market crash. And the air all hang oh. And then all the other people, hey, wow, cool. <laughs> The end of the, yeah, the end of the reign of the devil, the custom book of uh, Daniel. Putting down, the, yeah, no more. Buy me this, sell me that. Don't smell like a human, smell better than that. To protect. It's offensive to smell like a human being. It's offensive to this. It's offensive to be yourself. It's, it's offensive to take care of one another, feed one another, regard one another, love one another. Unless, of course, you have pieces of paper and the right forms filled out for your triplicate, duplicate, and are you a real citizen? Are you really alive? Can you prove to me that you're alive? And do you need this? Yes, you need this to be able to stay here and eat and pay your extortion and have your this. Yeah. Evil. I ain't evil. Now, that's your spot, man. Cool. You hungry? Eat. You tired? Rest. Let's get up and work. Let's do this together. 
Want to go with me together? We'll all go to work. Jesus describes it in the parable. But they all came in on the ninth hour. And so they shall. And so they will. And so we all get paid evenly and fairly and we'll all get what we get. Um, but, uh, Ralph, it doesn't hardly seem fair. You tell God it's not fair. I think it's great that we all save the world together and we all cash in on it, even though some have been working on it for 2,000 years and some have been working on it for two days. I think it's cool. Blessings and peace.